clothes, and fashion. Fashion expresses personality and style. Fashion plays a role in the lives of most people since it helps them fit in or stand out from the crowd. In this video, we will learn basic fashion vocabulary so that we can describe the style we like. We will follow our main characters, Tom, Lucy, and Linda. Let's see what they discuss about the fashion and their style. What's up, guys? Hello, my girls. Are you done with the fashion magazine this season? Not yet. I don't have any ideas now. You can do that. Just relax. So, tell me what kind of clothes do you like to wear, Linda and Lucy, please? I have nothing to say about this. Don't ask me. No, my friend. Tell me. Okay, me first. You're the best, Lucy. I prefer to wear t-shirts and jeans. I also like to wear a normal skirt or A-line skirt with a t-shirt or sweater. I feel so young when I wear them, and they make me comfortable too. Actually, I prefer casual clothes, which give me comfort and flexibility, even at home or at work. But sometimes I like to get dressed up for special occasions, such as princess dress, baby doll, or layered dress. Very interesting. What is your favorite color to wear, Lucy? Well, my favorite color to wear is bright colored, such as blue, white, and light yellow. I also avoid clothes with flashy colors or those that are too stunning. Do you prefer wearing shoes or boots? I like both, but if I have a choice, I usually wear sandals in the summer. They're more comfortable than other footwear. But for winter, I like putting on boots. They stay warm. Do your friends wear the same kinds of clothes as you? My friends and I always wear different kinds of clothes. Even we get on with each other very well. Some of my friends are fashionistas and always keep up with the latest world fashion trends. They also have a good sense of style. One of my friends is Linda. Come on, Linda. What kind of clothes do you prefer to wear? I prefer to wear clothes that fit my body. I really don't like baggy clothes because it makes me look fat. Can you tell me more? If I'm in a company, I'll wear a blouse and a vintage blazer with a pencil dress, or I wear light-colored trousers. Boots, high heels, or sneakers are good choices, and you must have belts. So, when you go on special occasions, what do you like to wear? For parties, weddings, or special occasions, I prefer to wear body dresses, mermaid dress, or straight dress. Accessories are also very important. You must have earrings, necklaces, and bracelets. Have or haven't, it's okay. What is your favorite color to wear? My favorite colors are both light colored and dark colored, such as nude, black, and white. Brown is also great, and light pink. How about you, Tom? What kind of style do you like? I really like wearing classic clothes, a crisp white shirt and suit jackets with pants, and I like the vest so much. After work, shall we go shopping together? That's a good idea. I also want to buy some new shirts. I agree. I haven't gone shopping for a long time. Look at this store. I like that shirt. Let's go in this store. Hello, how can I help you? Hi, I'm looking for a new shirt. I like this one, but I need a blue one. What size do you need? I need an XL size, please. Does it fit? No, I think the sleeves are too long and that color doesn't suit you. I'll bring you another size. And may I ask, what is your favorite color to wear? I like a black or white shirt. You suit the black shirt. But I think a white shirt is better. 
Which one should I buy? You can buy both. I forgot to mention, we have a discount if you buy two products or more products. I'm glad to hear that. I take both. Linda and Lucy, why don't you buy anything? Oh boy, this is the men's clothing store. <laughs> I forgot. Let's go to clothing store you can buy. I want to buy a pretty dress for my friend's birthday at the end of this month. Let, Let us help you. you. Look, Linda, this sweatshirt and sweatpants look so dynamic. In my opinion, they are suitable for both summer and winter. Yes, even though it's not my style, it looks so young and comfortable. But I think if you just wear this in winter, they can't keep you warm. We should wear more than coats, jackets, hats, scarves, gloves, and socks. And we need boots in cold weather. So, I will consider and buy them for the summer. Oh my dear, look what you wear. I think you should try another dress. It's not suitable for a birthday party. Okay. Perfect, Lucy. A twinkle short black dress with long sleeves and v-neck. So pretty. You will be the most beautiful girl that night. You should find a pair of high heels or ballet flats. Thank you. I have a pair of black high heels at home. I think they will suit the dress. What do you want to buy, Linda? Actually, I want to buy a new women's blazer. I can show you the blazers we just imported. And may I ask, what is your favorite color to wear? I love the brown or plaid blazers. Please follow me. Okay. We're waiting here. Can I ask you something? It'll help for my fashion magazine this season. Yeah, I'm ready. How important are clothes and fashion to you? Clothes and fashion are not that important to me. I always prefer comfortable clothes, but making sure that I'd look polite and clean. What do you think the clothes we wear say about us? At times, I think the clothes we wear show part of our personality. Why do you think that? For example, clothing may determine the kind of job a person has. For some, it may be a tool for expression. Some could be stylish and fashionable, which may reflect their personality as being creative. What do you think we should wear in the summer? I think we should wear light-colored clothing. Choose light colors and white dresses, which reflect the sun's rays. Wear short clothes or mini skirts, shorts, and stay away from tight clothing. Thank you for your information. You look so elegant, my queen. Look at your confidence. You're like a superstar. Thank you very much. Let's go have a drink. I'm thirsty after shopping. What a good magazine! Tom wrote about the importance of fashion. Seasonal clothing advice. Yes, look at the way he ended the magazine. Because I always want to go shopping. Shopping is one of the most popular hobbies of girls. However, a shopaholic can face unpredictable troubles. Let's watch this video and learn about one of these problems of a shopping lover girl. Hello, is anybody there? Hello, you are? My name is Sarah and I will live together with you from today. You must be Mark, right? Oh, I heard Linda talk about you. Yes, I'm Mark. Nice to meet you and welcome to our home. You look so tired. Would you like to drink some water? Let me bring you a glass of water. Thank you, Mark. You're so kind. But first, I have to take my luggage and my package into my room. Could you show me where my new room is? 
Yes, Sarah, let me help you with this. Your room is on the second floor on the left side of the stairs. Okay. Let's do it now. Thank you so much, Mark. You're welcome. Can you introduce more about yourself? Yes, of course. I'm 23 years old and I'm from Oxford. I'm currently a teacher. I knew it. Your accent is so good. And how about you, Mark? I'm also 23 years old and I'm a technology engineer. Ah, I'm from Norwich City. Oh, Mark. By the way, where's Linda? I haven't seen her when I came here. I don't know where my sister is, too. She goes out early in the morning. I guess that she may be shopping mall and looking for sale items here. Linda is a big fan of shopping. Oh, she backs home. Hello, Linda. I'm Sarah. Nice to meet you. Hi, Sarah. Welcome to our family. Uh, sorry, I couldn't be home this morning to take you home. I have to buy some things in the shopping mall. They are sale off at an attractive price. No problem, Linda. Mark helped me a lot. You seem to buy many things, right? Yes, some beautiful dresses and cosmetics. By the way, how do you feel about this house? Yes, I love the house. It's so large and tidy. My room is awesome, too. I'm so glad to hear that. Now take a rest, Sarah. You must be tired from this morning. I also have to prepare something in the afternoon. Okay, bye, Linda. Hi, I would like to pay for this dress. Yes, please. Your dress cost is $300. Would you like to pay in cash or by card? By cash, please. Here's your money. Okay, let me pack your dress, please. Oh, is your store hiring employees? Yes, we're looking for saleswoman position. Would you like to apply? By the way, I'm Rachel, sales manager in this store. My name is Linda. Could you give me the job details? Or can you describe this job for me, please? I'm free now and I fairly need a job. Oh, I forgot. You can't do this job if you're still a student. We only hire full-time salewomen. Yes, I've graduated in three years. So your working hour will be divided into two shifts, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. or 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. You'll have a day off per week. You'll receive a free meal and also a revenue bonus if you have excellent performance. We'll talk about your salary after you apply for this job. So would you like to work in our store? Yes, I agree. Please tell me more about this position in your store. Okay, first, please give me more of your information. Wow, what a sumptuous meal. Who made it? It's me. I had to spend three hours preparing for them. I make sure these dishes are the best food you've ever eaten. Wow, Linda. Do you often make a lot of dishes for a meal like this? No, Sarah. I've never seen Linda prepare such a big meal before. Come on, Mark. So, Linda, do you have good news? You're right, Sarah. Who can guess what it is? Did you buy a new shirt at a good price? No, Mark, you're wrong. Did you win a prize for something you bought? No, Sarah. Okay, now I'll reveal the reason for this big meal. I'm going to work in a clothing store in a shopping mall as a saleswoman. 
I start working full time there from tomorrow. Oh, that's great, Linda! Congratulations, and hope your new work will make you happy. Yeah, I'm so surprised. Congratulations, sister. Thank you, my family. Okay, it's time for enjoying our meal. Here's to new Linda's job. Cheer! Cheer! Wow, this beefsteak is so yummy. It's very soft and very tasty. You should also try this chicken fried. I just ate it, and it tastes wonderful. <laughs> All the dishes are delicious, believe me. So, Linda, what is the store you work for? It's Nila, a clothing store for women in the shopping mall. Is that the store where you often purchase in? Yes, it is. Do you have any days off in the week? Yes, one day per week. Why did you decide to work in this shop? Oh, let me tell you. I saw a recruitment poster when I was paying for my new dress. I asked the manager immediately, and after a while, I agreed to start working there. You're so lucky, Linda. Thank you. Keep enjoying this meal. We still have many things to eat. Okay, Linda. Oh, Linda, don't cry, please. What happened to you, Sarah? I just got fired. I'm so sad and disappointed now. I'm so sorry to hear that. But could you tell me the reason for it? Yes, tell us all, and you may feel better after that. I and my manager made a short conversation. She said that she had to fire me for the saleswoman position. Because I quit my shift without asking her permission. Has she ever announced you before? Yes, one time, but I think she just was kidding. Hmm, Linda, why did you go out during your shift? Because our store did not have any customer at this time. <gasps> I went to another shop to buy some sale-off items. My manager checked the camera, and she detected it. Oh no, Linda! It was an unacceptable reason. You're so reckless. Linda, you should not be sad any more. I believe that you'll find another suitable job soon. However, I think you should change your current shopping habits. You might be a shopaholic, and that's bad for you. It's also the main reason that makes you lose your job, right? Yes, I see. Thank you for your advice. I promise that I will reduce my shopping time and find a new job immediately. So, who wants to drink something tonight with me? That's a great idea. Okay, let's prepare for it. At the mall. A group of friends, Lisa, Andrea, and Alex, are discussing to hang out at the mall. Watch the video and see what they will do at the mall. Yeah, it has been a long time since we had a day off like today. What are we going to do? Stay home and watch movies. I'm pretty tired. Staying at home is a waste of a day off. We gotta go play. Right. Okay, I'll follow you guys. So where do you guys think we should go? How about going for coffee? Yeah, that's good. But we have plenty of time. What do we do then? Going to buy clothes to prepare for summer. Good idea. Let's pick a place where we won't have to move too much. Do you want to go to the mall? Great. We can both hang out at the coffee shop and go shopping there. 
What do people do at the mall? A lot of things. Sell and buy clothes, goods, books, shoes, watches. And a lot of stores. Clothes stores, jewelry stores, entertainment area, a cinema, electric store, book stores. Okay, let's go. This mall opens at 9 a.m. and closes at 11 p.m. I think we should stay here until 5 p.m. and have dinner after that. We also have dinner at the restaurant here. Good! There is a new pizza restaurant opening in the mall. Maybe it's on the fourth floor and they're having a discount. Great idea! Check its location. Okay, I'll check it then. What will we do first? Go to the cinema! A blockbuster is playing. The cinema is on the fifth floor. I've wanted to see this movie ever since I saw the trailer. I agree with Andrea. It is rare that we can watch a movie in theaters. We're busy, so we watch movies at home. I'll go ahead and buy tickets and popcorn, so you can have time to walk around and buy some things. Thanks. Andrea and I will go for a walk and see you in about 15 minutes. Okay, see you guys later. Lisa, do you want to go to the cosmetics store? I want to buy a makeup remover. Okay, I'll buy some masks. My skin is probably quite dry due to the weather. Need to moisturize it. This jewelry store looks great, right? Yes, it's one of those most luxurious brands, but it is really beautiful. Come and see it. I like this necklace so much, but it costs a fortune. I don't have enough money. It's so amazing. Maybe five years later I will have it. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, Andrea, what is that? Where? Over there. Ah, it is bowling. Have you ever tried it? Not yet. How about calling Alex to bowl later? He's really good at this game. He can teach you to play. After the movie? Yes, we have plenty of time. Okay, good. And then we can play mini golf. It's next to the bowling alleys. Cool, I love it. Hey, Alex. Hey, come here. I bought the tickets and popcorn. Cola as well. The movie will show in about 10 minutes. Come up here. Okay, wait a minute. Okay. What do you think about this movie? I think it's good. I especially love the soundtrack. I'll set it as my ringer. I really like the content of the movie. Very emotional. Yes, I agree with you. Ah, Alex. Do you want to play bowling? Oh my god, of course! I love it so much! Let's go to the amusement area. Lots of games there. Let's go! Oh, this is the gym. Last year I signed up to practice here. Seems like my training card is still valid, but I'm too busy to come here to practice every day. Wow, you went to the gym every day? But since I changed houses, I've been too busy to go to the gym here. Same. I often go to the spa in this mall. Despite being busy, I've come once every two weeks. Hey, next time you come, call me, please. Okay, sure. And my brother sells televisions, laptops, etc. at the electronics store on the third floor. Oh, really? Andrea, at home you said you wanted to go shopping to buy clothes. Yes, that's right. Here, this clothes store is famous brand. The price is also affordable. Great. Come here. And it can be suitable for both boys and girls. Unisex style? Yes. 
This skirt over there looks good on you. Try it. Okay, wait for me. Wow, it fits perfectly. Thanks, Alex. Alex, what do you want to buy? I want to buy clothes. A blue t-shirt and my wardrobe full of black and white. That's why people at school call you B&W. Just kidding. Hey, I feel a bit tired. Yes, me too. We walked around and played too much. I need to sit down and rest for a while. Come to the coffee shop. It tastes good. But I think we should have dinner first, then we can go to the coffee shop. Yeah, okay. Did you check the location of the pizza restaurant, Alex? Oh, I forgot. Here's the map, you can check it. Yes, it's on the fourth floor. Lisa and Andrea, can you go with me to the bookstore? I want to buy a gift for my sister's birthday. Yes, sure. I think I also should buy some things for my mother. Do you recommend anything? Book, like me. Or if your mother doesn't like books, you should buy a pair of shoes for her, so we can go to the shoe store together. Yes, maybe I will find one that I can buy. Ah, I forgot! Shall we take a photo together in the lobby on the first floor? We haven't had a picture together for a long time. Good idea. The view is not light enough, I think. We should take pictures of the statue on the second floor. Hey, how about taking a photo at the coffee shop we'll go to? The view is perfect. Okay, good. Really tired today, but I'm glad I did a lot of things at the mall with you guys. Look, the photo we took at the cafe is really nice. Great, I look handsome. Hey! hey. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Lisa, what's the matter? Oh dear, I forgot to buy bread and milk for breakfast tomorrow at the department store. You can go to the store near our house. Yeah, maybe so. There will be more discounts at the mall. Let's go together next time we have free time. Sure! Do you like shopping? Do you like shopping? What types of stores are there? What conversations do you have while shopping? Here are some examples. Dialogue 1. Shopping mall, here we come. Ooh, this dress looks amazing. Mmm, not really my color though. It's too bright. I like a more subtle color. What about this one? It is pretty subtle, isn't it? Yes, that's perfect. Let me try it. You look beautiful in it, Christine. I really like the shape, but the size is wrong. It's a bit too big around my waist. Wait a minute. Let me ask if they have a smaller size for you. Hi, excuse me. Can I ask if you have a smaller size for this style of dress? Mm, I'm very sorry, miss. We actually sold out of every other size for that dress. In fact, the one you have on is the only one of that color left in our store. That's sad. We do offer to tailor if you guys are interested. Yes, I would love it if you could cinch the waist in about an inch. That's totally doable, miss. Would you like to check out right away? Yes, that would be great, thank you. We actually are having a promotion for dresses. You can get a free hat with every dress you purchase. Would you like to choose one that you like? That is so nice. Can I have one in a similar color with the dress? Of course, miss. And may I ask if you are paying by cash or by card? Card, please. Thank you. 
This is your bag. Have a really great day. You too. Bye. Goodbye. Dialogue 2. Let's buy some perfume. Hey, do you want to go into that store? That one? The cosmetic store? Yes. Woo, I always spend too much time in there. <laughs> it's fine. Let's go. Ooh, have you seen this perfume bottle before? It is limited edition packaging. I love the design. I've seen it online, but not in store. It is very beautiful. What does it smell like? Take a sniff. It is warm vanilla with notes of cinnamon. <laughs> it will make you smell like a bakery. <laughs> I would love to smell like a bakery. Well, are you going to get it? I don't know. Let me see if it is on sale or not. The regular packaging is 30% off. Yes, but I really love the new packaging, though. Then get it. It's not that expensive, right? Yes, but I already have so many perfumes in my collection. Should I get another one? Come on, treat yourself. You deserve it. All right, I will listen to you. Let me pay for it, then we can go to the grocery store, okay? Okay. Dialogue 3. What are we having for dinner? What do you want for dinner tonight, Christine? Mmm, what about curry rice? I already have rice at my place. That sounds good. What other ingredients do we need? We will need some vegetables. All right, let's go get them. Where is the veggie aisle? It is next to the refrigerators, I believe. Right. Ooh, these veggies are really fresh. Really? How can you tell? Well, you can judge how fresh they are based on their appearance, smell, and touch. Nice. I rarely ever cook, so I don't know about this. That's all right. Lucky for you, I am a great cook. <laughs> that you are. Love you, bestie. Sure, love you too. Do you want anything for dessert, my love? I would love to have your famous cookies, please. That is easy to make. Let's go get some flour. I ran out of it. And do you want chocolate chips in the cookies as well? Of course, that's the best part. <laughs> okay, then we need to get the chocolates as well. I'm on it. Dialogue 4. Let's get creative. What should we do after dinner? How about drawing? You always want to draw, don't you? Of course. I am an artist, after all. Don't you think that makes sense? <laughs> okay. Let's go to the craft store to get some stuff. I don't really have any art supplies at my place. Should we get a canvas or just regular paper? Let's get a canvas. I'm feeling extra today. Okay, and what type of paint do you like to use? Acrylic paint. I am most used to its texture. Cool, you know you are doing most of the painting, right? I can cook, but I can barely draw. <laughs> That's okay. Leave it up to me. Or I can draw your portrait and you can be my model. In your dreams, Lauren. I'm just kidding. I hate drawing portraits. Yes, and I can't sit still for too long. Okay, old lady. Can you pass me those brushes? These ones? No, the ones down the left. Here you go. These are good enough. Let's go check out.
Dialogue 5. A friend or a new fling. Hey, Christine. Where are you going? Hello, Brad. I'm just getting back to the apartment from shopping. I haven't seen you around for a while. Where have you been? Uh, I had been staying with my parents for the past few weeks, but I'm back in the apartment now. Nice. I was starting to get worried about you. <laughs> oh, thanks for caring about me. And who is this lovely lady, may I ask? This is my best friend, Lauren. Lauren, this is Brad, my next-door neighbor. Hello. Nice to meet you, Brad. Why have I not seen you before? You guys don't normally go shopping together, do you? <laughs> no. I usually go shopping with my boyfriend, Ken, instead. I see. Well, Christine, Lauren, why don't you guys come over to my place to hang out sometimes? Bring Ken as well. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. We'll text you later, okay? Sure. Let me know whenever you are free. See you guys around. See you, Brad. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.